There's breaking news in the race for president. Also, there's a new CBS News poll that's out tonight that shows former President Donald Trump holding a 35-point lead against former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley. This is among Republican voters in her home state. CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns spoke with Haley today about Trump's recent attacks not only against her, but some of America's closest allies. He's not qualified to be the president of the United States. With early voting now underway in South Carolina, Nikki Haley is launching her strongest attacks yet on former President Donald Trump. How do you explain his popularity here? Well, I think the polls are the same that we saw in New Hampshire. And I moved 25 points in the last three weeks of the race. You can look at any poll you want, but the reality is this is when they are starting to pay attention. Are you prepared to take this all the way to the convention? I'm prepared to continue to go Michigan to Super Tuesday. Why don't we let that happen? Haley slammed Trump for saying over the weekend that he would not protect NATO allies from a Russian attack if they failed to contribute enough financially to the alliance. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. Trump has long criticized NATO, but these remarks drew outrage from the White House and concern from world leaders. I think what was said was not a sensible approach. Though Republican allies on Capitol Hill came to his defense. I learned a long time ago not to overreact to what President Trump says or what he tweets. Do you take Donald Trump at his word? I absolutely take him at his word. Russia has never invaded a NATO country because Russia is intimidated by that alliance. Why would you go and put that alliance in harm's way? And she called Trump unhinged for mocking her husband, Michael, an officer in the National Guard. Where is he? He's gone. You're going to mock my husband who's deployed 8,000 miles away? What does that say about someone who wants to be commander in chief? Because as a military spouse, it makes me worry about Michael's safety. As someone who was in national security, it makes me worry about the future for our kids with him starting a war. And tonight, Donald Trump has asked the Supreme Court to pause an appeals court ruling that had rejected his claim of immunity in the January 6th case. Meanwhile, Trump was off the campaign trail today and instead in federal court in Florida for a hearing in the case involving his handling of classified documents. Nora. Caitlin Huey Burns, thank you so much.